Hello, it's me. Nice to see ya. So you may be wondering why the cap. Well, that's because uh, I just got a haircut that I really don't like, and I don't want to show it on camera. So <laughs> just gonna wear this for a bit. But anyway, um, so I'm here to talk about something a little special. Like usually I do movie reviews and all that. I'm changing it up a little this time. Uh, what I'm doing this time is doing a channel review because I went on YouTube before and I saw ch and I saw reviews for movies, TV shows, so, so, some like video games, uh, so, sometimes other videos even and trailers. Uh, I haven't actually seen that many for channels though. I I don't even know if people actually do that. I just haven't seen it myself. Uh, so I was thinking maybe doing a channel review would be a good idea. So I'm gonna try that out and. I'm going to try out with a few channels. The first one being Jeremy Johns. Uh, he's one of my, he's a he's a great reviewer and he's a YouTuber. Uh, he he's one of my favorites on YouTube, and I'll get to why in a second. Before I do that, I need to say that he uh, he has about a million subscribers right now, which is great for him. Uh, I'm I'm at a really low amount right now, but he started off basically the same way I am right now, and so I guess you can see where. I guess you can see the similarities there. Like, imagine him maybe like six years ago or something. Uh, this is where he would have been, except older, of course. Um, but yeah, so th so I was just so I just want to talk about it this about this channel because Jeremy Jones' channel is one that's really inspired me to do my own YouTube videos. And if it wasn't for him and a few other U YouTubers, I probably wouldn't have done it in the first place. And it's not because it's successful; it's because of how funny makes it all look. I mean, uh, when I watch his videos, I can tell he has a lot of energy into this. Even in, even if he's reviewing a terrible movie, I can tell that he's having fun doing it. Minus a few movies, of course, because they, because some movies he just doesn't like so much, he doesn't want to talk about them. But other ones he actually really does, and I really respect that, because uh, I feel like you can't really do you, these sort of videos unless you're doing them for fun. Because that's what YouTube's meant to be. I mean, I, I don't know, because I only started, like, what, a year ago, maybe? But I'd say that it, this never started off as a money-making thing. YouTube started off for fun, and that's I think that's what it should be. I mean, I don't make any videos off... I don't make any, like, money off my videos, at least not now. And I never... And I'm not doing them for that. I'm doing them to, like, have a bit of fun and all. And what I think... And, uh, okay, maybe I should start getting into Jeremy John's more... Uh, his channel more de in more detail. Uh, what I think of Jeremy Johns' channel is, first of all, just basically, it's great. I love his channel, and for a few reasons. First of all, his personality. Because when you're on YouTube, you have to have your own personality so you can be distinguished from all the other YouTubers. He has a very unique one in terms of how he talks and how he, uh, and just how he feels on camera. So I can tell that uh, that I can't really see uh, many other people like that there, and that's great because he has his own style, his own his own sort of way of reviewing, and that's great. Uh, also, there's something really important about reviewing, and that and that's and this is especially important on YouTube. There are a lot. There are. There's often going to be those people who disagree with you on your, uh, you know, opinions and all. Because that's what reviewing is. It's a. It's an opinion all the time. So of course people are going to have other opinions at some time. And this is for every movie. Literally every single one. People always have different opinions. Whether they like it, they don't like it, they love it or they hate it. They always have different opinions. And that's something that has to be known. So when you're actually reviewing something, you have to you you have to remember that there are other people who might disagree with you, and I I can see that sometimes because I do disagree with some of his uh, videos sometimes and his opinions. But what's so great about them is he just uh, has that likability to him, and he respects other people's opinions all the time, so that I can't so that I can never actually be angry at him for having a different opinion. Because he just uh, does it. Because he just does what he does so well, and he respects his uh, YouTubers, and that and that's just great. I mean, he. I mean that he's like that, and also that's one big reason why I love his channel. Just because he can respect other people's opinions, and he doesn't make his own uh, feel like fact. Well, maybe sometimes for the terrible movies he reviews, but I can understand that because I've done the same for some terrible movies I've reviewed. Mainly Speed 2. 
Uh, but yeah, yeah, he, he, I, lo I love, I love, I love most of his videos. Uh, uh, the biggest problem with his channel has to be when it started off because uh, it's not necessarily his channel. It's more like this former channel he used to have, but it is him as well. So I have to, so I have to like talk about it. At that, around six years ago, when he first started YouTube, he made he made some videos. Those videos, I think are funny. When I watch him, I can get laughs from them and all. But they just, but he just feels like a totally different person there because he just always feels so negative in his videos. Whereas uh, other times he feels so positive. And the and his video and his older videos do drag a little. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's like five minutes long. It still you still has to have to feel like you're entertained, even for a short amount of time. And I feel and I just feel like uh, a lot of his uh. A lot of his older videos drag a lot more than his newer ones, but yeah, that's probably my biggest flaw with his uh, videos. If I have to think of anything else, um, I can't really think of much else. I mean, some people might not like him for the fact that he swears a lot in his videos, but that's just his personality. Like, I can't go against that. I don't really swear much, but that's my personality. I have to respect his, like, and so yeah. Overall, I think he, it's a great channel. Definitely uh, worth watching and subscribing to. I definitely, definitely. Uh, but you have to remember, this is not fact. I'm not telling you that this is the best channel ever. This is my opinion, and that's what it, that's what all reviews are. It's the same for reviewing a channel, really. You're t you're giving your own opinion, and if people disagree with you about that channel, that's fine. That's their opinion because I know that there's a, I say there's quite a few people who don't like Jeremy Johns. And there's some YouTubers that I don't like that a lot of people do like. So, there is that to know. But, yeah, I personally love his videos, love his channel. It's it's a great channel. It's definitely worth checking out. So, yeah, you should check his set videos out. Subscribe to him if you like them. And, yeah, basically that. Uh, okay, so, that that's about it for what I have to say about the channel. Uh... I'm going to be doing a few more channel reviews for different YouTubers. Some of them I'll be giving, a, I'll be talking positively about. Uh, some of them not so much. But I will try to keep it, it that it's like person, personal opinion all the time, and I won't try to just say that they're wa that they're wasting time or anything because doing YouTube is not something easy. It takes time, it takes commitment, and it takes style as well, which every YouTuber has, whether I like the style or not. So yeah. With all that said, I I don't I don't really want to give ratings to re channel reviews, so I'm just gonna say so just go by what I said then. Okay, so that's all I have to say for now. I'll see you later, and of course you don't have to go. Wow, I got Timo.